Overslept. Oh, that's all right. Uh, Jeannie, do you remember uh, I asked you uh, to go out to lunch with me this afternoon? Oh. I remember. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to take you to lunch. Oh, you, you do not like the way I look? <laughs> oh, Jeannie, every girl in the world should be so lucky to look like that. Oh, oh do you mean that, Master? <laughs> of course I do. But uh, that's beside the point. Uh, I got a letter from my aunt Pauline in Denver this morning, and uh, some friend of hers, a Miss uh, Miss Gordon, is arriving in Coco Beach this morning, and, well, she wants me to show her around. Oh, would you like me to help you, Master? Uh, no, no, I think I can take care of this myself. Oh, no, no. Hello. <laughs> I'm Tony Nelson. Who are you? <laughs> oh, you, you must be Miss Gordon. Well, I've been expecting you. You have been expecting me? Yes, my aunt wrote me that you were coming. I'm sorry I didn't hear you come in. And would you like some coffee? You do not recognize me. Well, not from Aunt Pauline's description, I don't recognize you. I was expecting someone more, uh, more mature. But, but... Just call me Tony. What's your first name? Jeannie. Jeannie. Well, I'm certainly glad to meet you, Jeannie. <laughs> How, how do you feel now? I never felt better in my life. I owe Aunt Pauline a big favor. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Uh, don't go away. Oh, no. I will not. Hi. 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 Good morning, Raj. Boy, you seem awfully happy for a Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, do you believe in love at first sight? Well, it happens to me almost every day. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I really think I'm in love. You old two feet on the ground, Nelson? Well, that's hard to believe. Yeah, I know it's hard for me to believe, too. My uh, Aunt Pauline in Denver asked me to take out a friend of hers, and mm -hmm. this friend turns out to be the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. Really? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for you to meet her. Come she on. here? Oh. She... oh, hi. Hello. Well, uh, where's the, uh, where's the girl? Uh, Jeannie. <laughs> it's a very good friend of mine, Major Roger Healy, uh, Jeannie Gordon. <laughs> well, you are in a playful mood, aren't you? Hey, we better be getting over to the base. Yeah, well, aren't you at least going to say how do you do? Or, or, you know. what, what for? <laughs> because it's customary when you meet someone, especially a lady. You have to get used to Roger. She is used to me. Hey, what's going on here? Well, I told you, my Aunt Pauline asked me to take out Miss Gordon while she's in Cocoa Beach. Will you tell me what's going on? Oh, Major Nelson explained it. I, I'm a friend of his aunt. Yeah, Roger. Could I trouble you for a cup of coffee, please? Certainly. You can trouble me for anything you want. <laughs> I must be in the wrong house. No, oh, Major Healy. Something terrible has happened. Major Nelson hit his head, and now he does not remember me. You mean he has amnesia? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. He can't have any amnesia. He remembers me. I do not understand it. He thinks I am a complete stranger. Ah, oh, that's it. His subconscious mind has blocked you out. Oh, why would it want to do that? I suppose because it had, had trouble accepting you. Boy, you got to blink him out of it right away. He tried. What happened? He just blinked back at me. <laughs> well, did you tell him you were the genie he found in the bottle? No. Well, that's it. Just tell him and everything will be fine. I do not think I can do that. Why not? Because he... He, he seems to like me the way I am, and I would not be surprised if he wanted to marry me. Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Because I'm not going to let you, that's why not. I'm going right out there and tell him the truth. 